Hey everybody, thanks for stopping in. We are taking a look at a unique conversion kit that came in um, this week. Uh, already partially assembled in for a BBS conversion kit. This is a Giant Trance, full suspension. There's a lot of cables and housing and hydraulic hoses running around. Uh, and we're gonna take a few looks at the hardware and what's needed um, to take a closer look at what we're doing. Uh, just to kind of let you guys know, um, a lot of these mountain bikes, fat bikes as well, have different spacing. So the width is not a standard 68 by 73. This uh, diameter is also not a uh, standard. So a spacer is going to be made for that area, and there's going to be an extension made for the motor kit. Uh, that is next door at a tool maker that has a very strong hydraulic press. Uh, something that we don't have in our shop. So uh, we're going to get our hands on that motor here shortly and we're going to take a look at that uh, at that motor when it comes in. But here we go, a conversion walkthrough on a dual suspension Giant Trance from Volton Electric Bicycles. So here is our BBS motor unit with the axle extension and axle installed at the end of my ruler here is the standard spindle for a 68 to 73 bottom bracket shell. Here's the extension for 100 to 120 mil. Um, a lot of there's a couple sets of bearings in here. Basically, uh, your driving gear comes out, the axle removes. There's some locking washers, um, some rings in there that need to be removed. These bearings need to be set at proper offsets. Uh, this is something you don't really want to do with like a soft blow hammer or a piece of wood. Everything needs to go in straight. The, the steel materials on these bearings are not necessarily ultra high strength, so they're, they're, they're a little softer. You could damage them if you're, if you're not really pushing these in with a controlled motion. So if you have a really wide vise, um, to control that push and do make sure everything is nice and straight you could do it Otherwise you want a hydraulic press with uh, you know with some pass-throughs to allow these axle ends to push through um, We have conveniently located next to a tool and die company with Big medium and small hydraulic presses, so we just gave it to them They took a few minutes to set everything up for us, and uh, here we are we're about to hang it onto the bike so uh, next shot will be uh, We'll be mounting this to the to the frame. Uh, before we get that motor um, hanging, uh, we want to take a look at a spacer needed. So again, not necessarily standard. They call British standard BSA um, is a wider, larger diameter bottom bracket shell on a lot of performance mountain bikes and uh, fat bikes. So here is some machined aluminum. That allows us to change this, I don't know what this is, a PF40 something uh, to a standard BSA uh, width. So this is going to take any play out and allow us to nice get a nice clamp on our, uh, our spindle for the motor. So here we are with the motor mounted. Everything is fastened up. That's how it looks. Still don't have the... Um, chain ring and chain guard on there but uh, you know, I just wanted to give you guys kind of an up close look of how it looks mounted everything's tightened up and here in a moment we're gonna take a look at everything with the chain on ready to drive and uh, maybe we'll do a little roadside test ride as well all right here it is everything installed we've got that BBS motor unit hanging from an oversized bottom bracket shell belonging to a Giant Trans X dual suspension mountain bike from Giant that's running through a Dior XT9 speed that battery just fits looking nice and clean everything is where it needs to be should be a fun ride. We're going to put a GoPro on there, take a little trail ride footage. And if you guys have any questions, comments, please post them below. Please subscribe. We're going to have more conversions, Volton model release news, and electric bike part reviews posted. So thanks for stopping by and checking it out. Enjoy the ride.